Hey, what is up, you two? This is Force Trigger, and today I'm gonna be presenting my Kristan deck profile that I promised you. Uh, so basically, what this deck performs is uh, there's a lot of variants for it. You can play the core itself for fun and games. There's also the Curry build, which I believe is pretty speed. And I also saw a greater one in one of the channels, uh, Team Shockwave, which is pretty decent. Uh, but in this build, I call it the Kristan Synchron deck or Quasar, since I do play Quasar. It just goes back for you. You don't really go with Quasar unless you, unless you have a combo. But the deck is pretty self work. Uh, I got I started making this deck when I got the the stuff from the sneak peek. Unfortunately, this they took me a while. That's why I didn't get a chance to upload it as much. And I wanted to do it last night, but I was very exhausted, so I wanted to show it today. And uh, the deck is pretty good. Um, it has a lot of builds going with the Synchron variety, and I just wanted to like make it more fun. So without further ado, let's go straight to the deck profile. I know you guys couldn't see the last deck profile, so I'll make it more clear. So for the Crystons, obviously, for the tuners, we play the Citri and Quan. Now, for those who don't want to uh, Crystons to do, okay, so there are different varieties of effects. Uh, for the tuners, they basically get to let you special summon a non-tuner Criston monster during your opponent's main phase or battle phase. Um, and one from this one will be specials from the I believe is the graveyard. E yes, this one was special from the graveyard. But once you synchro with that, it gets banished, and you can only synchro summon on machine types. This one just specials from the hand. To me, I feel better with the level one would be graveyard and the level two would be hand because that way you don't get when you get like high levels in your hand or dead ones, you can just synchro with that, and then this synchros with other cards that's already in the graveyard. If that would have been great, it'd be perfect. Um, so yeah, this one does go to the graveyard after a synchro song. This one gets banished with them in synchro material, so that's what they do. Um, and I play two of each. Uh, I play for the non two neurons, uh, two Parasol Turtle, a K-Turtle, two uh, Thist Virgin, Wyvern, and two of the Rosenex Phoenix. I don't play the Tiger, uh, because I'm going to explain why. Uh, so what basically, I try three, like three of these, and then two, which is fine. And sometimes it gets cloggy, so I just play stick with two, and it's okay. So anyway... They get their effects in the graveyard, but I'm going to explain what they first do. Uh, similar to this, but except during your turn, you can set a face-up card you control, so you can set it itself as well to special the tuner from your deck, and you can also summon the machine types as well. That's what they kind. Of, that's why people play the courier variant because of it. Uh, so, and they had their effects go off when they're in the, when the graveyard by banishing them, but you only do it once per turn. Uh, so basically, what the turtle does is when you banish them, you special a crystal monster from your hand to the field. Uh, when this card's ban when you banish it, you could search for any crystal, including itself. And then when this is uh, banished, you can just summon a crystal token, which is pretty good. And I really like how the variant works, man. So that's it for the crystal monsters. Uh, I it's like I said, two of each, and the test is well in two because sometimes the three kind of clogs, even though you might want to see it sometimes and not. But it gets really clogged. So anyway, for the synchron variants, I play for the tuners, uh, two junks, two jets. And one unknown. I tried quick draw, but the problem with quick draw is since you know he only synchros for uh, synchron monsters that has synchrons as a, as a uh, synchro material, it's kind of not that it's really not that great. So I took it out. Uh, two junks is fine because you don't want to see this a lot lately, and, and you want to mostly see jet when it's like if you have a strategy and one in your hand and you want to or have one in your deck to the grave, so like Axel, and then unknown because if you go second and you have this in your hand, you can already go straight up for a. Uh, level one tuner, so that way you can go for formula or whatever, because you know she's gonna be used one for doing. It's pretty decent. All right, and of course I also play the uh, the Gofu. I tried Cockadoo to do. It's not bad, but I need. But I wanted to see Gofu and Gofu again, like similar to the uh, unknown synchron. You want to go ahead and just special him. You don't want really to do the tokens because why would you want to? Because you can't synchro with them. It's just so stupid. So special him, synchro off, and then do your play. Uh, you know, you know, say so something lovely or whatever. Uh, two double warriors and two cool bolts, obviously for the level twos because uh, these are the best variants ever. Get your tokens out, you get them special from the grave. So, so he's the best when you send to the grave. And of course, everyone's favorite uh, card that's gonna be banned <laughs> because it's so stupid. Love eater, which I love him. Uh, I try to want to do three because you want to see him. Uh, I think it's very difficult to have him in the graveyard a lot because you don't draw him or have him in the grave, you know, mill whatever. It's very difficult, but. Again, level is pretty decent, so the, the build will test to see how it goes. And then finally, my last monster will be Boost Warrior. A lot of people don't know what he is. He's awesome. He was played for the in the Lava Quasar. All you do is special summon him if you control a tuner monster. He has another favorite, like the Ince Warrior Type 300, but that doesn't matter because you want to special him, go straight for a freaking. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, formula. Or maybe a Core Dragon if you know how to play the 
All right, and now for the spells, I'll play one Rotov because you got the Boost Warrior, the Double Warrior, and the Junk Synchrons. Two tunings. Uh, I don't want to play three. It's pretty great, so you can see it faster. But the thing about it is that sometimes I only, since I only play five Synchrons, it kind of like meh when you think about it because it goes back and forth, whatever. Uh, I play one, one for one, of course, and a Foolish because those are the best cards you want to play. And then that's it for the uh, those with supports. I, also, I play two Double Summons. Because uh, I really want to go ahead and keep doing my plays, keep synchroing, so that way if my opponent tries anything, I want to keep going at it until I have a chance to, with a decent feel. One Magical Stone Excavation gets rid of some um, dead cards in your hand, and you want to also, like, send the... And then also get back some old spells so that way you can do your plays. One Falling Currents, you know, I always like this card, change the level, so that way I can perform any Synchro Summon. That's how you get the Quasar faster. Uh, I play one Iron Call, and I play now Magnet Reverse. I did two Iron Calls. I kind of forget that Magnet with Iron Call, a lot of people forget sometimes, but you need Machine Type on the field, and then when you do Special Level 4 or lower Machine Type in your grave, but it destroys it and doesn't have its effects, but it doesn't matter. And Magnet Reverse only, and just a lot of people don't understand, um, it can only Special Summon monster, uh, Machine Monsters, or Rock Monsters, if you play that, but Machines, uh, from the Graveyard or Banish Zone, that cannot be Normal Summon. Basically, you have, you know, like they have effects saying, oh, this card can't be normal summon, saying you can special summon that, and it's great. Or you can summon like a card from the extra deck. So that's why people summon Mega Gear. So I was asked about that. So try to be very careful with it. Uh, Upstart, Verdal. Uh, I play the Pot of Equity and Burial. I tried to do two. I didn't like having two of this guy. So, but, you know, one of each is fine because one, you get to draw and reset. And this one also, if you want them in the graveyard, that's, that's perfect. And clearly you're going to get to your point because you know what? You don't have to do your, your stupid play. And of course, the last one will be Soul Charge because it's a fucking Synchron deck. And I play one trap and that's Jar of because you want to go ahead and reset everything and then get drawn so you don't have to get a deck out. And that's it for the monsters. Uh, for the spell, uh, for the, I mean, main deck, uh, I got my Karibo tokens. They're awesome. Okay, and then for the sync, so the entire Synchron variant, uh, Formula Synchron, these, uh, obviously. One Tatsunoku. I might try to see if I can do two. This card's amazing. I love the fact that I, I forgot that he actually can be hit by monster effects, so Crystal Wing can be can go suck a dick. <laughs> uh, I play one Armory Arm uh, for a little four because he's pretty good. Sometimes you know, so you synchro up his machine, and you can go ahead and do your play. One Quandrix. Funny thing is, it's a card to tuner, so it does have another effect. So basically, what they do is that uh, same thing with the tuners. Uh, specials, a, and during your components, main phase or bad phase, immediately, blah blah blah, synchro, summon, uh, use machine, it's a quick effect. So, actually, yeah, that's the thing, it's a synchro summon, so it doesn't have to be a machine, so that's the best part. And then, uh, and this card is synchro summon, and this synchro summon is destroyed by battle card effect, you can target a crystal monster in your grave, other than a synchro monster, and special summon. So that's a little downside, but hey, you don't want to be, like, too broken about it. Alright? <clears throat> uh, one Axel, one Librarian, and one Amatrix, uh, Axel's pretty great i love him i prefer that librarian is obviously and for those who know what amatrix does uh he's non-tuner so uh when it's synchro summon you can change all faces of special monster you can point controls to defense and if this is destroyed by power perfect you know with synchro summon uh so i got a crystal in your grave except for a synchro special summon it again so stupid only one that can does that today was the phoenix but i have to cut the phoenix because it's uh, you know I mean, it's, I need a space, and we can do. For level 6, uh, Star Wars Warrior, for draw, Coral Dragon, discard, draw. That's what it's all about. Uh, play Ancient Fairy, because you do want to get, because I know now people are going to play the Catalyst Fields now. Our lap field spells are being so stupid these days. So this is a really must-have. So I know this price card is going up. Uh, just pop, take that, gain a 1,000, and also special. Uh, I prefer doing that effect, unless I have no idea what to do, or, you know, doing my first turn, but... One level yeah, I play Scribe Dragon. I do want to play sometimes, but other cards. But like I said, there's not much uh, room here. That's why I wish Konami would build more expertise. I don't care. For number nine, I now have the Vermilion Dragon Mech. This card is amazing. You just banish a tuner to target a card and destroy it. I kind of wish they did banish it, but then the price for this card go up. And if this card was destroyed, uh, you can just target one of your banished tuners and special. So you get back to your Jet Synchron or your Junk Synchron or anything you banish that's so pretty decent. One star uh, warrior. He basically just negates summons, and then if destroy by battle or uh, by a card fight, whatever you know, whatever, and then you get special warrior type synchro monster. That's a layer lower. I try to do rogue synchro to see how it is, but it looks like dead space, and I barely do whatever with it. So yeah, so I just want to use this to make sure my opponent doesn't summon anything, and he's like a like starter. He does come back, awesome, and of course quasar. There are times when you do go for him, I just got it. Because I even did one time having both of these guys already on the field my first turn or whatever. And I'm just like, 
come at me, bro. <laughs> so without that, uh, that's it for the uh, Criston Syngron deck, guys. So I really hope you enjoy this. I did explain as much. Uh, I didn't want. I know it's a lot of time, but I just need to explain so you can understand. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm gonna see. I'll keep testing if anything goes wrong. Um, I'm already ordered cards, so I'm gonna be making Ray Raptors soon because I'm excited and I'm gonna get more chemical career stuff so I can make that. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys later. So give this video a like, comment what you think about my deck, subscribe if you're new, share this video, like my Facebook page, and this is Fort Striker signing off.